Um, all right, let's go to the rest of the game in the round of 16 now, Mikhail. Tomorrow we'll have England versus Senegal and France versus Poland. Let's start off with France versus Poland. What do you expect of that game? I'm predicting a France victory for this one. Walk in the park. Speed of Mbappé. I think so. I think it could be a convincing win for France. I think um, um, France um, attacking power is too much for Poland to do. I don't know if it will be a walk in the park, but I agree with you. Poland has not impressed me in any shape or form. I am so surprised by the fact that they are in the round of 16. I think I think a team like Mexico or Saudi Arabia would have be a bit be, be a better team to at least be in the round of 16. I might be wrong, but I'm not a big fan of Poland. So yeah, I agree with you. I don't know if it'll be a walk in the park, but I I, I definitely think that they are going home. All right, let's talk about your game of the day. You know? Yeah. The big team, the future World Cup. I don't know about no big team, but <laughs> let's speak about uh, England versus Senegal. I, I know you can't wait. Well, England versus Senegal. I'll say about this game. It all depends on the 11 that Southgate select. And the reason being, okay, Rashford is on three goals so far. And so Rashford remember, should start. He, he should start. He only started the last game, and that to me is because he was just testing out his squad, giving other persons opportunity. Okay, so Rashford should so start. I believe okay. Rashford should start. So I'm just saying, depends on the level. Mount hasn't impressed me so far. I believe so, that he should go uh, to the bench. Mount was on the bench the last time. So here's my question yeah. to you: What is the eleven that you expect him to? for him to win the game not the one that we think he will he will have but the one that you want to see so what i would want to see so i'm gonna stick with luke shaw well pick for in goal luke shaw stone maguire and i'm gonna go with walker we have bellingham rice i would play then Rashford play who? Saka Rashford Rashford okay. Rashford Saka Kane and that number 10 position now I think I'll start Madison okay so no feel for them for you I'll put him off the bench if Saka isn't going feel for them to come on after he scored in the last game Saka has, is on two goal as well just to that's okay. my I'm that's just saying, that I, I, I know want. that a lot of English people or English fans, I should say, been crying for Phil Foden to be in the starting eleven. That's all. I don't know. I don't care. I, all, I, all I know that <laughs> this will not be an easy game for England. I can I can comfortably say or confidently say that this game might go into extra time, might go into penalties. Trust me, if the 11 that I name start, it won't be. I <laughs> say it's at 2 1 for England. 2 1? Yes. Uh, okay, I, I don't think that will happen. I think this will be a game that will be decided in penalties or extra time. And I want to give Senegal the edge in this one. So I'm going with Senegal for our, the first upset of the round of 16. <laughs> No surprise there for you. <laughs> <laughs> it will never be every game, every game that every game that England play. I will be going with the opposite team. <laughs> All right, let's move on to more round of sixteen stuff. Next up, we have Japan versus Croatia. What are you expecting out of that? All right, Japan Croatia. This one, I'm just gonna go with Croatia. Although we would have seen Japan take down the mighty Spain and the mighty German, German, Germany took so, on themselves, man. <laughs> Focus on so football Japan, and activism. Right, right, right. Let's stick it to sports right now. But just say <laughs> Japan isn't <laughs> any team to just 
brush aside, a lot of persons are saying that they don't know how they reach there, but remember, any team that is in this position earn their spot there. And what well, I just think Croatia, with the experience from the last World Cup, the squad is an experienced one, finalist it's last time same. out. Yeah. Exactly, will make it through. So I'm going to give them the edge. Croatia winning that one. Yeah, we, we had spoke about this game before and I had said to you that my mind, right, keeps telling me it's Croatia. That's what makes sense to me in my mind. But my heart is telling me Japan because of how well they played against Spain, how well they played against Germany. These are two of the biggest team in the competition and they came from behind two times to win these games and win them when at least the Spain game when it really mattered and they stick it out they were solid defensively right there was nothing you could say bad about how they play so I personally want to take Japan for the upset it it, 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 it it doesn't seem like the right well it, it's it, it's not the obvious pick but I feel like Japan can create some sort of surprise in this round of 16. Okay. All right, let's go on to Spain versus Morocco. What do you expect of that? What now? This is where I think the upset is coming from. I am going with Morocco for this one. The African Messi dish. <laughs> <laughs> will lead uh, Morocco. Yeah, there's only one Messi, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's the title I think being thrown around. <laughs> but I'll give it to Morocco. This will be an upset. Everybody thinks that Spain will win. And I'm, I am I am like 90% sure Morocco will take this one. I'm just, wow. I just, there's just this feeling, Morocco. Yeah, okay. I'm going with Spain. I'm going with the obvious here. Right? right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the obvious. I'm going with Spain. Just based off the fact that Spain have really outside of that even that Japan game, you can say Spain have been dominant over all their games. Just never get it done in that Japan game. And, and, and it was a game that you, you could even think that they might not have took it with as much seriousness as they should, based on the fact that they were pretty much already through the zone so i'm i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with spain yeah i think they, they'll okay. get the job done all right let's move on to the next game now it will be brazil versus korea so honestly i'm just gonna go with the obvious one brazil your team uh, i think it would be a hater and say something <laughs> no. different no yeah. no i'm i'm the more logical and unbiased one here <laughs> i go with the fact <laughs> not the emotion so brazil to take this one for me with yeah, I, don't I don't know if it is but it should be comfortable i don't think this even warrant a discussion even though brazil have a, a couple injuries going on for them but i personally think is, there's so many there. yeah exactly. so many quality in the team that i think they have enough to, to actually get it done and get it done comfortably also. Mickey, let's talk about the Portugal and Switzerland game now. What are you expecting from that one with the, the big bad Ronaldo, the GOAT? You know, what are you expecting? Well, based on the performance of Lionel Messi, the real GOAT, I think that Mr. Ronaldo would want to put on a performance and will be able to put on one to pull his side through. So I think Ronaldo will finally score from open play in this one and lead Portugal to a one nil victory. Mm, so you are, you are expecting Ronaldo to be the savior for Portugal. Tom well, not tomorrow, in this run of 16. Yes. Well, I have bad news for you, my friend. This is another game I think that might end up going extra time. 
and I think Ronaldo might be on the losing end. In penalties? I don't know if it's penalties <laughs> or just in extra time, but he will be on the losing end. I think this will be the moment that more people start to come to the conclusion that Ronaldo isn't who he used to be anymore. Like yourself? Me? <laughs> I give I give people praises for what they have done. I don't try to take away from a man accomplishment like others. No, we we do that, but we do have to give you praises based on your current form as well. So you can't just live on the past history. You have to acknowledge for what you're doing right now. And as you said, yeah, past is best, but people yeah, I think, still I, 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 I reminisce on the old days. Yeah, I think Switzerland is 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 going to find a way to win this game. I I'm not so impressed by by Portugal. Not too impressed by them. Well, honestly, I like how Bruno Fernandes is playing. He has been the best yeah, player for them so far. Yeah, that's true. He has been Bruno very good. <laughs> Going to Real Madrid, I hear. <laughs> uh, 